Hello, I am Richard and today I'll be playing Zombie Bowlerama, a Halloween-y themed bowling game. Um, okay, so there's single player which is the campaign, free play which lets you choose the um, difficulty and you can choose different types, I think. Oh no, no, free play, um, in each round you have to get, a, get, get at least that score. Um, and then, oh, once you do that, then you move on to the next one, and so on and so forth, and you get a perfect score. And you can ch choose a different alley, but I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm going to be doing single player, the campaign. I did already start because, well, this is actually my second attempt at recording, but first time I accidentally deleted the commentary. But, you know, it's a learning curve. So we're going to start a new game. Hey, so this alley is my turf. Get your stinking, rotting hide off from the lumber or I'll bowl it off. You're going back into whatever hole you crawled out of. Yeah, take that, Mr. Swarm. That's his name. He's not a zombie swarm, he is Zombie Swarm. That's his name. Okay. His middle name is. I don't know. Okay. Comedy's not my strong suit. Let's just start. Okay. You probably noticed immediately the pins are zombies. This does change the game quite a bit because they have slight ragdoll physics, so when you knock them down, they can knock into each other things like that, instead of just falling over. Um, okay, so you can move slow side, you can do that, and you can change the power. But the interesting thing is, once you, you bowl it, you can zoom left and right, which, okay, that was terrible. It does make it a little easier, but at the same time, it's not that easy to get a strike, I don't think so anyway, without a trick or a treat, or a treat rather. That that is a treat. I just run over that with my ball and yay spare. I will now be able to use that treat. This is my opponent's go and I can use this treat to make the gutters much bigger like that. And against the AI in the first round that can be effective but sometimes it's not. Sometimes you get lucky with the AI and it's incredibly stupid. Sometimes it's slightly smart. And he just got that one, there you go, see? Sometimes they do fail. And I don't know if it's all the zombies that you miss, or it's just some of them, but zombies that you miss will move forward. And he just used the same one on me. I haven't had any treats yet, that's a bit unfair, but I'm sure I'll get them eventually. Not exactly hard to avoid that one, and I'm gonna get a split. It, oh, I've got a split. I, I've got a split. I can't get a spare. <sighs> okay. Another trick. What is it? Mini course. That treat will shrink the zombies, making it impossible, as far as I know, to get a, a strike. There may be a treat that can make it easier. Um, I think Brain Ball, which explodes on impact. You may get a strike with that. Not sure. Let's see, I'm not even sure if he has any treats. Nope, he has no treats. He... No, he missed it. That was the Beehive Ball. It turns the ball into a beehive. And when you hit the pins slash zombies, um, bees will come out and attack three or four of the zombies that are left standing. So you could get a strike. Which, that would actually work against mini zombies. There you go. Oh no. There you go. They're now lined up and spread out a tiny bit. So it's very hard to get a strike. And they still have no power-ups until now. 
Oh, I can, I'll get a spare though. Well, I should. Yeah, that one, I think. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, that, that is the, the brain ball, I think. That will turn my ball into a brain, which will explode an impact. Get that, and there you go. Spare. Woohoo. The entire line is covered in a sheet of ice, and he said sweet of ice, would make sense. Um, so this will make the entire lane slippery, making it very hard to control the ball. Well, hard to steer it anyway. Didn't really help much, he's still got a 7. Was that an 8? No, that was a 7. What do you think it was an 8 for? Hey, he's going to... No, he's not. I thought he was going to encase them in ice, ensuring a spare. Okay. Bit rude, mooning me. But he's a zombie, he doesn't really have many manners. Ah, oh, here we go. Right. Shrunken ball and dance video, what do we have? Okay, so we can make the zombies twice as big, making a strike much easier, or we can almost guarantee a strike with this, which I think will turn my... Yep, my ball is now a brain, which should explode on impact. And there we go. Bring it all down. Sometimes when you get a strike, it does go into slow motion, but I'm not sure what the circumstances are. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe some power-ups do it, some don't. Okay, we can shrink his ball, making it hard to get a decent score, or dance fever where the zombies will spread out again like they did like he did against me we'll do that like that a bit more stylish the zombies have got some killer moves unlike mr swarm here well he got three no four it's all right i suppose can he get more than no just four more In the first round, it's not it's not very hard to win because it is the first round, so the AI is incredibly stupid. But there we go. very big zombies, which would, would be a problem if we were fighting them in in any way other than bowling. I didn't get a strike. That is incredibly embarrassing. Oh well. Ah, the zombie nator. The zombie game can be a trick or a treat. And will if you use it for a treat, you can can get up to three treats at once. Or I can use it as a trick and he and I will use up to three tricks against my opponent. But we'll save that for maybe the last round. Whatever that's called, I can't remember. Frame, that's it. We'll give zombies shields. Those things, which makes it hard to take them down normally. So he has a zombie next to now. See? Very tough to take them down now. Probably won't get more than two or three. How many did three with it? Four. So we've got five that round. So the shields really do help. It also help my opponent just as much. Oh, here we go. Oh no. Can't even remember what the other they are. Okay, so. This honey, which will slow my ball down. That is going to push my ball over to the side, but I'm not sure what the other one was. Let's. Fight back with my own zombie nature. Pick a ball, a neat ball. And nothing. Oh yeah, that's what that means. That's nothing. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. Slow motion. And a strike. Despite his zombinator. Uh, two treats. Counted with two treats. Let's put some 
barricades up. So if his ball hits these, it will slow down and possibly go flying in into the gutter, like so. You can get around that by using the bigger gutter to treat. So you can just slide down here because the gutter won't be there. Oh, lucky. Let's use a pinball, this is fun. It's fairly easy to get a strike when using a pinball. It just bounces off zombies, ready to be brought forward. Oh, there we go. That was nice. It has to be fairly bad to not get a strike with that, or at least a spare. If you can't even get a spare with a the pinball, then something's not quite right. Okay, let's shrink his ball. He could have used the ice ice baby treat. Would have given a fairly good score, if not a strike. Okay, is he going to use anything? No? I do think I've done a lot of points here. Not that it really matters, he can't beat me. I have played this for quite a bit. I think I have beaten a single player once before and I got fairly far in free play as you saw. Oh no. This could be a problem. Oh no, never mind, I can just use zombies. Oh, so funny. And now it should pop the heads off those three. Or two, I don't know either. Oh, turkey, I didn't even realise. I am not paying attention to this properly, am I? Okay, I toast baby. Oh dear god. This is a swarm of zombies doing this. They have less brains than me, one human. I mean, well, there's three of them. Looks like a punk, a businessman who shares some brains, and a builder. All perfectly with the impossibility of being smart. Um, okay, let's use the fist bump to turn our ball into a rolling ball. <laughs> no, I, I am sorry for that, that was terrible. Oh. Oh. Sometimes you get a strike with that, but if you're terrible like me, then you don't. But we can get a spare. Some more. Come on. Yeah. Some punchy sound when, when the fists Brains. hit them. Really? I have no tricks? Oh, well. well, that's just embarrassing. The zombie swarm I just called stupid got a strike with a power up, I, with, a, with a treat I couldn't get a strike with a supposedly smart human. Oh well, we can easily beat that with a pinball. Nothing can stop a pinball. Oh, that was close. That was nearly very embarrassing. Even more embarrassing than the zombie getting a strike with the rolling ball. Why did I say that again? That's embarrassing. Oh, there we go. Another strike, I think. Was that? Yes, it was. And I could get two more, depending on how bad I am. Okay, what's guaranteed? There we go. Ice Ice Baby is guaranteed a strike unless I somehow mess it up. There we go, another strike. Third one you should be fairly easy to, to get now. I, um, I'll demonstrate the fireball. Quite simple. I run the ball over there and it turns into a flaming fireball of ultimate strikiness. There we go, flaming strikiness. It's just the next time it's really even more. It's a nice roast turkey. So now we just let him. Oh, let's put some water hazards down. So it, 
if his ball hits those, it will slip around as you'd expect. There we go. He may get a spare. He may not. Can he use a power? No. Or he may miss completely. And that should be the round. Yep, there we go. I win. There we go. So yeah, that is the first round of single player of Zombie Bowler Armour. Let me know what you think. You can pick it on Steam, fairly cheap. I, I forget how much I got it for, it was on sale. Some people have got it for like 99 cents, I think. I'm not sure. Depends on the sale, it's not even at full price, it doesn't cost very much at all. But I think this is a good game, it's fun against your friends. I think it's only got local co op though, or local multiplayer. You can't really co op in a bowling game. Yeah, you can get on Steam. Um, I will be doing more. And thanks for watching. See ya.